dating the cancer woman. Ooh. If any sign is an enigma in the zodiac wheel, it's the cancer woman. All right? The cancer woman embodies characteristics that range from sweet to treacherous. An enigma, though. And the reason why I say this is because from my experiences dating cancer women is you can be in a room before you're actually solidified as the conquest, the love interest, right? In her mind, it's already done. She's already figured out that she's digging you, that she likes you, right? However, she's not directly saying that to you, right? This is my experience. Cancer woman has never directly came to me and said, yo, I think you're hot. You know, I want to shag. I want to bang. What's up? None of that's not ever happening. That's not ever been in the mix. Cancer woman comes across like this. They view the room and they watch how other people interact with me first. So whether it's a room, whether it's a bar, whether it's a club, whether it's an establishment, whether it's a school, whether it's a workplace, this is what they're doing. And it's like they're not necessarily viewing me and others with their eyes they're viewing us with their intelligence their intuition their intuitive their emotional intelligence ei is very strong with these women to the point where i can feel her glancing at me not necessarily looking at me but glancing at me um even premeditating her thoughts to where she's going to move in the room next before she moves there and stuff like that. This is deep psychic stuff, right? So at this type, and when this type of mental and intuition is going on in the environment, I'm gathering that, you know, they are just intuitive because they're a water sign. So they are picking up on the same signals that I'm picking up on, but it doesn't necessarily mean that she likes me. You know what I'm saying? Because in the beginning, I can be none the wiser because they're so sweet, right? So you can, this is what I've experienced dating cancer women that she's so sweet to me when she comes across as in regular conversation, right? So, and this can come after viewing how others interact with me, right? It's like, oh, okay, she sees how others move around with me, women included, especially women, and then she comes in for the, I'm not going to say coming for the kill, it's not that. She comes in with her spill, with her version of who she is. You know what I'm saying? Her introduction, and it's like very sweet. You know what I'm saying? And it comes from the side. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? And then we get to speaking about things that are creative. And that's way up my alley. You know what I'm saying? So I'm talking now to cancer woman for mad long to the point where everyone else who was interacting with me is just like, oh, you guys are sure hitting it off. What are y'all talking? What y'all been talking about all that time over there? And then it's just like giggling and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just like now she's quick to say, oh, nothing. You know what I'm saying? We're just talking about creativity and music and arts and you know stuff like that which we are you know what i'm saying very innocent conversation with this woman you know what i'm saying what i've come to find out is that this woman is a master at just moving around stuff a master so what she was doing the whole entire time was putting herself in contrast to everyone else right what she's basically saying is, oh, nothing. We're just talking about this is I'm the one out of all of us who actually knows what this guy likes, what can keep his attention for longer than 20 minutes and what he's passionate about. And I tapped into that without pushing up my boobs yet. Well, some of them will push up their boobs or instinct um, because, you know, cancer rules the breast and stuff like that. But this is what I'm saying. When they come in initially, it does not have to be that hard. You understand what I'm talking about? So, but I'm using that as a reference, but we can use other things such as maybe those other women or people that were interacting with me lack intelligence or lack the ability to pinpoint what it is that people 
admire or like or what it is that they might like. They couldn't be none the wiser. They couldn't guess. But cancel woman guesses it. You understand what I'm saying? So we're dating. She knows this. They don't. What the onlooker sees is two people having a conversation about things that they like, right? So put it this way. I could be banging other chicks that is in this room, in a relationship even, with other chicks in this room. However, cancel woman has just solidified on her introduction that her and I are dating now. Do you sense the treachery here? You know what I'm saying? And I'm not, I'm not even saying it's a terrible thing. I'm saying, well played. You are a mystery for real. You just, you're intriguing to the higher power, is what I'm saying. Not so much of a mystery because I figured it out, right? But every cancer woman I meet now, it's like, okay, I got to go through rabbit holes now. And, you know, I'm a Pisces, so you, this is what you want to do? Let's do it. You know what I'm saying? Again, these are, this is the type of sign that it's not necessarily spoken about. Right? You got to feel your way through it. I have to feel my way through it when I'm dealing with cancer woman. So this thing transpires, this thing rolls on, because I know you want to finish hearing the story, right? Because now it's like a story. So this thing continues, and it's to the, it gets to the point where the innocent, accidental even, almost dramatic stage play occurs, and we get the bang. And we get the banging. And then it's like, you know those types of movies, those types of films when they, when they, when the two, you know, they have a drink or two and they're just like laughing and giggling. I remember I said how it all starts off sweet. She's sweet. Laughing and giggling and everything. And it's just like, ha. Ah. And then, you know, you just, your hand brushes her boob by accident or whatever the case may be. And she looks up at you with these eyes. And it's, it's like a real dramatic movie scene. That's why you see cancer women, they do well when the camera's rolling. You put the camera on these women and they turn into to movie stars. You understand what I'm talking about? They have a flair for the dramatics. They have a flair for um, being seen, but being seen when the time is beneficial. You know what I'm saying? They're not, other than that, they're away in the shadows, being a homebody. You know what I'm saying? Taking care of home. But when they come out, they coming out. You understand what I'm talking about? So this is, happens. This occurs. Next thing you know, we're banging. Next thing you know, we're waking up and we're like, okay, well, what are we going to do, right? We can't tell everybody, right? We got to keep it a secret. And the, this is what I found that dating cancer woman, the more that it's kept under wraps from some people and made known to others, it's what keeps the relationship exciting. All right, because they, what I found dating cancer woman is they like an air of drama in their romance. But the kind of sophisticated type of drama to where it's like they're not tripping if the other chick finds out. You know what I'm saying? They're more of looking at it like, how you let me get your dude like that? Like, how you let me get to your dude like that? Well, she knew how to do it. You know what I'm saying? So now if the other woman that I'm dealing with becomes a problem for me, guess who's winning? Even more now, cancel woman. And it's like, I don't care, you cannot convince me that they're not aware of this beforehand. You cannot convince me that this is not premeditated. You know what I'm saying? And again, I don't feel terrible about this type of stuff happening when I date cancel woman because I think that they're right. I think that they're justified in their approach to romance. And I think that they're justified in doing what they're doing or doing what they did rather because it's evident. Like, yo, you should not let anyone be able to get your man like that. You know what I'm saying? Or if you really liked him like that, you know what I'm saying? Then you wouldn't have been able to let me move in like that and do what I did. You know what I'm saying? And of course, it takes two to tangle. I'm not just pointing cancer woman out as the, 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 the sinister one here. You know what I'm saying? However, I mean, listen. If you say you are what you are and you got this on lock and that's your man and that's, 
your, you know, your significant other, your lover, your boyfriend and all that, then beware of cancer woman. That's what I'm going to say. Because she's going to cause more smiles than she is going to cause more headaches. You know what I'm saying? And the whole the whole smothering thing, I haven't gotten that far yet. You know what I'm saying? I've heard about it. To me, it's just, it's just all speculation right now. You know what I'm saying? What I do know is that they're shy. And what I do know is that they're probably that way because they're afraid of being hurt, because they're sensitive. You know what I'm saying? But I have not experienced the whole smothering effect as of yet. Um... So yeah, that's me dating the cancer woman.